Uh, do you see um, do you see uh, equation 525 bookshelf oh, we see one of your uh, documents the T specification of generation of thermoelectrical module uh. I think this is happened uh, yesterday. Uh, I want to show the full of my screen because I have a number of screen and suddenly um, I have to choose one of them. That's, that's weird. Uh, I, I, I'm using two screen, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I think uh, this is uh, happening yesterday. They changed it. Uh, so here, uh, sharing, stop sharing, application and screen. Yeah, this is quite different. Why? Why I cannot choose? A, this is a, there are three, four. Ah, uh, let me see. I have pro. I have to solve this problem. This is a new. Uh, this is okay, but uh, I need uh, the bookshelf and uh, and uh, PDF uh, annotator. I need it. Uh, problem. Hello, can you hear me? Yes yeah. or no? Yeah. yeah. What do you see now? Nothing. Thanks. Nothing means. Uh, I mean, we just see the our names highlighting in bubbles when we speak. So, do you see a bookshelf? I think no. no. Okay, do you see? Yes. So only we see one of them. Uh, in that case, I think, uh, what is chapter five? I, I try to open. Oh my, I'm sorry about that, but uh, I, I need a screen to, to talk about it. Uh, Uh, chapter five. Uh, do I have? They didn't say a chapter. Chapter five. Chapter 
five. I'm sorry, I, I didn't expect these kind of things. I need to, where can I find a chapter five? Oh my, because I have to use a bookshelf. Chapter five. Do I have chapter five? Yes, yes. This is an old, not the book version. Anyhow, let's see. Ah. Chapter 5. I, I can use this, okay? Sorry about that. Uh, what I can do is uh, I can... No, 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 no. Uh, I, I can... Uh, I can open another... Uh, 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 Open. Please be patient. Is that opening? Oh my. Open. Yes, I got it. I need a two, and then I can open chapter five.
Okay. And then I have an annotator. Yes. Uh, yes. So I can write now. Okay. Uh, is it? Yeah. Can you see? No. Student. Not yet. What What do you mean, not yet? Can you see uh, uh, chapter 5? No. no. You cannot see anything. Do you see this problem 5.1? One, one? No. Nothing? Oh. oh. Uh, share, share screen, window, still there are two. I want to open both of them, same problem. Yes. I, 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 only I can open one share, then same problem. So you only see one of them? Yes? Yes. Ah, oh, Jesus. This is problem. Ah. Uh, It was uh, actually, you know, previously I, I can show both of them, no problem, but suddenly it changed. I don't know how come. Stop sharing. Jesus, time is... I cannot figure out this. Okay, one by one. All right. Then problem is every time I have to change screen in order to change. Or, ah, I got it. I got it. I have idea now. I can open. Thank you. I can open here. Chapter 5. Yes, I can just, but then uh, what I, I can beg and force, I can use, uh, okay, good. Th th this is uh, almost figured out. Okay, yesterday, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> it's 20 minutes away. Uh, so uh, you, you're familiar, uh, th this is uh, uh, just a review, okay? Review, yesterday we were talking about it. And uh, uh, this is uh, a, uh, a thermocouple, okay? N type and P type. Uh, actually, there are a number of uh, uh, couples, okay? But uh, just... Uh, uh, a multiple of a, um, a unique couple. Uh, so um, here, okay. Uh, you excuse me, professor. Uh, you're not sharing anything. Are Are you seeing this or not? No. No, sir. Why? Um. Screen, window, 
um, which one was I'm using? This one, share. Are you seeing now? Yes or no? Yep. Yeah. Are you seeing circle? Yeah, we do. Yes, sir. Oh. Okay. This is weird. I'm sorry. I'm using this uh, many years. Okay, now. So, um, Jesus, I um, I'm recording. This is. Uh, so here are. Uh, um, we have here, uh, uh, we call uh, generator, okay? Some electric generator, which means uh, the driving force is, is a temperature different, TH, okay? This is TH and uh, TC. So the, the temperature difference driving and uh, um, electron moving, and the current is circulating. That's what, okay. So, um, but the, at this moment, uh, we have to assume um, TH is constant, high temperature and uh, low temperature, a constant, otherwise it's too complicated. So constant, and uh, and then see uh, there is a current because of. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, C wave, okay, C wave. So um, there must be a, a heat flow, QH. Um, let's see. QH, this QH, first of all, um, Peltier uh, cooling or heating. So what is a Peltier? Is current uh, here, uh, TH, turns out, correct. And then um, there's a Joule heating always, whenever current, there is a joule heating, but joule heating is nothing directional. So, so it's creating the half goes up, half goes down because there's no directional preference. So if direction uh, high is downward, it, it should be minus. So half over Joule is I square R. And then conduction. There must be high and low material. So that the conduction must be this direction. Okay. So K and TH minus TC conduction. So this is the uh, QH. And the QC is alpha I, QC is TC. Now is a plus. Do you see that? Joule is the same direction of QC. I square R plus or minus. Anyone figure out the conduction for the Direction of uh, QC, same direction, yeah, should be. Look at that, downward, downward. So it should be the same, TH minus TC. So we know QH and QC, uh, and then the, uh, well, we can say that the rate change, uh, now is a, you can multiply n for n number of for module. 
So the power output should be Q H minus Q C. If, if you don't understand, you can raise a question. And uh, also uh, we know the W is, we need, uh, uh, in order to make a circuit, we need uh, external resistance. We have to, otherwise it's open. So once we put the external resistance, load resistance, then current and uh, voltage is uh, current times load resistance and, and that might be power output according to Ohm's law. Okay, so, so we can develop uh, um, uh, so what we assumed and then the element length uh, p tai n tai and the cross uh, area cross sectional area a p and the a n cross sectional area okay so we understand um, and since uh, uh, rho uh, rho is a uh, uh, electrical resistance, resistivity, I think, uh, times length times area, according to physics. So once you know the LP and A, and, and then it's a related property, electrical. And the K uh, is... Uh, K summer conductivity A over L, okay, for steady state. Uh, so we we understand, and then um, um, I think that this is basic. So I'm just uh, uh, slow, but once we get the uh, fundamental, I'm moving fast. So. Please enjoy fundamental um, QH. Uh, we understand everything we discussed. A should be T type and tie, and must be minus. And uh, also R, there are two P type and type. K also P type and type. Um, but uh, if the assume the length and uh, cross-section area are similar, then, then you can say uh, K P plus K N times A times L, something like that. Okay, you can say that. So K is that same as a raw, if it is similar, assume. Not necessarily similar, okay? So uh, usually uh, the real is to optimize the length is a little different. Usually L is the same, L, P, L, N is the same, but A, P, A, N is not the same to have uh, optimum geometry, usually. But this one is, is length must be the same. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, the length must be the same, but the thickness can be uh, different. You know what I mean? Yeah, something like that. So QC and uh, uh, WN, and we understand that. And voltage also we can create, uh, and then uh, we come up with this current. It gotta be so. The driving is temperature difference, and current must flow. That, but turns out the the R is internal resistance, so nothing we can do. 
once they provide. But R over L, you can provide. You can provide. Okay, it's optional. You can put the any R. So it depends on the R and then how we can optimize it. Okay, question is, if R is optional, how we can optimize it? So that uh, uh, we can, uh, more, this all kind of equation you, we can derive once we have a, a concept, okay? The efficiency and uh, uh, in terms of uh, uh, dimension list, we, we know that. And uh, usually it turns out this is Carnot, okay? Carnot efficiency, this one. So Carnot efficiency is the highest cycle efficiency, okay? Uh, and then we discussed, we figured out the uh, maximum current, maximum in order to normalize maximum power, maximum efficiency. It, it takes about 10 pages. It's not easy, well, but uh, anyhow. Uh, it was a struggling uh, to derive this, but anyhow, it's okay. Um, so we have all expression. Um, there are slight uh, uh, maximum power and maximum efficiency, we will discuss that. So once it's normalized, that's what I did. Uh, so general chart or universal chart, something like that. Okay, rather than specific. So ratio, voltage, everything uh, in terms of uh, ratio, efficiency versus maximum. And then we're able to plot it. We're able to plot it. Okay. So um, yeah, this is slightly uh, different than, than the book, but uh, the plot is the same. <clears throat> So this is a, a practically uh, is good also to understand because uh, the driving is, is a temperature, but the, the, this is a question, load resistance. Where are we gonna put the load resistance for optimal operation? So this is a characteristic uh, current versus resistance, the power versus resistance, efficiency. Uh, actually, it's missing uh, something like that. Efficiency versus. So, um, interesting is is the power actually power, uh, but also efficiency. It turns out the maximum efficiency is is a is a anyhow not far from close, okay close. So whatever uh, targeting maximum power or maximum efficiency, both are good. Efficiency is good. You know, power is good no matter what the maximum. Maximum is, um, this is ideal equation. Um, we, but uh, uh, this is a characteristic. And uh, uh, so it's good information is no matter what power or efficiency would be okay because it's very close, 99. 98% both, okay? So uh, I think, uh, then what is uh, uh, the ratio, resistance ratio for maximum power? Anyone? Is one. Yeah, interesting. What is the maximum power? 
for efficiency is about 1.5. So we take uh, efficiency uh, derivative with respect to uh, R, L of R, and set it to zero. And we found uh, mathematically is one plus g t bar. So if g t is about one, then this is 1.4. That's what uh, we are seeing about 1.4. Okay. Uh, if g t is three in near future, then one plus three is four, it become two. So if it is going to be moved toward uh, this. But some question, the characteristic will change or remain. So um, just uh, I did it. Um, what I did was surface, yes. Um, you don't have to worry about it, but uh, I'm just curious what happened if we change the uh, GT, okay? Uh, that one was the GT was, I used the GT, GT is one I used for. So if we change GT or temperature, what happened? Um, so if we, this is I did it. If we change um, GT, it will, uh, the R of the resistance ratio, it was one here. It was one here. And the three, this is, uh, I think, uh, GT is uh, one, two, uh, I think uh, GT is three. Do you remember this? Must be two. This is one. But the, the, the pattern, uh, one is about here. Okay, so one, just the one we see is almost the same. Not much changing. Uh, temperature, again, is totally same, the curve. So um, what we can say, the characteristic, no matter what the GT or temperature change, is going to be very similar to this. Okay, if GT is three, it's going to be like that. But the shape, is going to be a very similar. That's what we understand. Okay. Now, um, this is a little different with the book. All right. All the version. Yeah. Anyhow. Yeah. Um, but another way similar, uh, this is we discussed, the uh, uh, industrial people, they, they prefer use this because it's a very symmetry and uh, indicate uh, maximum power. Yeah, power, maximum, and uh, uh, current, maximum, this is current one, look at that, maximum or one. And then the, uh, they we interested the, the maximum power, the current 0.5. So this is, they call some name load, you know, that, that's the target for operate and uh, voltage also, maximum is one here, maximum voltage. Okay, so 
we look at the, um, uh, the real, this is real. We, the previous one was uh, ideal, but it looks the same, okay? So we have here um, uh, maximum power. We can calculate about the 7.3, maximum voltage about 11, maximum current is 2.6, whatever. Uh, but anyhow, um, the, the industry, they didn't use the maximum values. Okay, it's okay. I suggest maximum value, actually, I suggest, rather than the log, um, maximum value someday in the future, I hope uh, everybody use maximum value. Okay, that is very consistent. Um, now, you can raise a question anytime. So we understand some electric generator and uh, uh, also um, this is uh, efficiency now. Um, depend on the maximum, maximum, depend on the temperature ratio and the GT value in the near future. What I know is one, this is the current technology, but uh, in near future is going to be here. It depends on the, if we look at the point three, this is the line, if, if point three is the temperature difference. So we are looking at the 30% efficiency. Right now is one, if it is one, is about 17%. Uh, uh, if it is a 0.3. And the 0.3 TC over TH, 0.3 is a, is a high, 1000 K, 300 K, if this is the then point three, if this happened, okay? Um, so this is a ideal. So what is real um, is now, we, I, we developed, I think you remember effective, I, I have to go back. Uh, Problem is, I didn't say the problem. Uh, the problem is uh, serious. The problem is the alpha and the density for here, R is rho L A. K is K a L without no property. That's the problem. Once we have a property, then plug in uh, whatever I can calculate, whatever efficiency, power, everything I can calculate. But the problem is we don't know. I try to get it from manufacturer. They don't. Although they know they don't provide. Why? There is a dilemma. I think you have to understand the dilemma. Um, the NI Standard Technology, National Institute Stand of uh, Standard and Technology, it's all over the United States, very accurately government uh, measurement system. So they can measure anything. So they can measure these, no problem. Once they provide the pure material, they can, they can measure it. So the Somo electric module manufacturer, they should have it, but it is not working. Once you plug in here, and calculate, it is way beyond measurement, real. 
why why this is not working national institute of standard technology very accurately million dollars to measure but it is not working here because you know that this is ideal equation we neglect contact resistance we neglected the Thomson effect we neglected uh, thermal radiation and convection there should be some so easily 30 percent of errors that's the dilemma that's the dilemma okay although we have a, a intrinsic i call intrinsic property it is not working so what we can do designer i developed effective material property this is interesting I publish it. So what 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 we did is um, since the I have expression maximum voltage current uh, I can uh, reverse calculation and get the property. Do you understand? So in terms of uh, maximum values. This is a still ideal, ideal, everything, equation I'm using, ideal. But uh, once we plug in the real value, maximum value from the measurement, it become real, that's the effective. So once we calculate effective material property with the real maximum values, like a uh, Like, like like this one even they they didn't provide it here I just checked here maximum 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 and then plug in and then I got the effective material property and then I know where is that compared the line is ideal equation with effective material property and then marks are industrial measurement this is a one of a module, but I compared about the four or five, it's all the same. It's a good agreement. So <laughs> practically, I think uh, uh, you can use ideal equation and uh, you get the effective material property and then you can design it, whatever, in, in real using the module, you can use the module and design it. So it's a practically beneficial. Um, I like you understand what is the effective material property. I hope you understand, I'm moving on. And also there is a, some uh, equation uh, optimized. So as long as uh, uh, the relationship, that's why I told you, A N relationship, uh, A P relationship. We can get it from this equation so, so that they can design, optimize it. Uh, that, that, that. Now, I'm going to move on the cooler. Okay, I'm going to move on the cooler. Um, basically, the same. 
same equation some some electric is a uh, same same diffusion equation same module you remember for generator t e z t e c cooler same basically okay so i, I like to understand now No. Um, same, but the, the driving force is now not the temperature. The driving is the current. See? This is the driving. So in order to do that, I need uh, some voltage battery or whatever okay so this is a driving now now current is passing and then electron is moving you can look at that current is passing electron is moving hole is moving and then there is a heat uh, I said is cooling now. Okay, so again, um, I said that this is TC and this is T. It, it just uh, it, usually it become cold. So typically, TC and TH. So temperature difference is always TH minus TC. So what is a First, uh, uh, cooling is Peltier. So alpha, current, and TC. We know that, Peltier. And then, Joule heating. Plus or minus is minus because of upward, downward, minus, half. And uh, plus. K, T, H, minus T, C. Okay, so that is the T, C. Q, H is, uh, in this case, um, alpha, I, T, H. And uh, plus, look at that. Joule is plus, and plus. So, so that uh, again, what what is a power? Again, is Q H minus turn to Q C. Same business. But the interesting is now, is cooling. It's cooling taking place. One side is cooling, the other side is heating. So. Um, we use uh, uh, not efficiency we use a cop rather than refrigerator so what is the input what is the output A anyone figure out what would be input answer here i think the power is you're applying a voltage so power be vi yes yes power must be input power and then what would be output a refrigerator is a qc refrigerator is a qc now um, cop heat pump what, what would be input is the same power but uh, interesting heat pump is a qh heating is goal so that's the um, difference um, and uh, uh, tc th is constant again it's a weird but uh, uh, so because we don't know and, and then unless it's constant is very complicated so we 
we just assume TCTH is constant and we develop. Okay. Um, so, now, I think the same well, to see cooling, heating, and uh, power. And this is very straightforward, COP and the COP, HP, uh, heat pump, uh, and uh, uh, well, we can have some optimum COP, we can do that, but that's not really important. Uh, anyhow, we got the uh, this is optimum current for optimum maximum uh, COP. So even we can have expression maximum COP, no problem. And again, this is my work again. I want to normalize because normalize is powerful. So I'm looking at maximum current, maximum voltage, maximum. It turns out uh, we found the maximum current. I'm not going to explain detail. And we found interesting. There is some maximum temperature difference. TH minus TC maximum. No more than that, with the given current. No more than that. So maximum current, no more than that. This is maximum. We found it. Okay. And uh, the, I have to tell you, Here I developed the book, you just read it, fine, fine, fine. But that's not the fine when I study. Um, all the handbook, all the book, maximum in terms of T, C is very weird. That was weird. And all the industry, they use maximum in terms of TH. I think this is correct because uh, TC is cold, is changing. Usually TH is, uh, is a constant, reasonably. TC is uh, keep cooling, cooling. So it makes sense. That's why industrial people, they use TH is constant. That's why I developed in terms of TH constant. TC is changing. So this is my work. Most of uh, uh, the handbook, no textbook, okay? So anyhow now is in terms of TH and uh, anyhow, Everything, look at that, in terms of TH. And then um, what is a QC? I found it. Max. What is a QH max? I think if you look at carefully, at the first law, it's got to be this and this. No more than that. If a maximum, maximum, this got to be maximum. So QH maximum. I found it, everything, maximum values. Once, once I have a maximum values, normalize. I normalized QC and normalized everything normalized. Uh, COP, I don't have to normalize because COP itself is uh, dimensionless. Anyhow, otherwise it is all normalized and uh, uh, I have to tell you, some expression I, I had to develop. Now, GT, 
is uh, in terms of th okay because the tc is is varying gt is is changing tc is changing so i have to uh, use uh, only th is constant that works and uh, and then i got the characteristic wow so this is beautiful um, characteristic QC ratio, or voltage ratio, in terms of temperature ratio, current ratio. So this is a characteristic, voltage, current, QC. And uh, another is a COP, okay, QC. QC and this is is interesting. So current is a is a driving. I can all I can do is a current because optional. Okay, once I have a module, all I can do I can change current. So which operating condition current will be optimal? Okay. So when I look at if you go to cooling maximum obviously maximum current one if you look at the cop maximum it depends on the temperature then there is a some uh, current so there are two optimum cop or cooling it depends on the uh, configuration. Uh, for example, uh, COP, what is the COP? Um, is a power input over QC. So mostly goal is uh, cooling and uh, uh, so this is efficiency, okay? Power and uh, how much do you? So um, it uh, um, depend on the, uh, for example, um, the huge uh, computer, okay? And uh, cooling, computer cooling, uh, create computer is uh, important than, than the, the power utility cost. So don't worry about cost, the cooling best. Maybe, maybe you can look at the maximum cooling. But the electric car, the COP, the power, is important for cooling. So so it's depend on okay, or, or something uh, maximum COP, maximum cooling. Maybe somewhere you can compensate between. Okay, good COP, good cooling, back and forth. And we can look at it anyhow. So it's a two. Uh, conditions um, so um, now uh, we like to look at uh, the uh, heat pump, very similar discussion, heat pump. And then I got the characteristic of heat pump. This is uh, the first time I have seen this plot. Nobody ever provided this. Not any book in my knowledge. So this is a COP heat pump 
and the maximum uh, heating depend on the current. Uh, nice. I think, uh, uh, let me go back. First, uh, I think I have to little bit discuss. A little bit we like to understand what's going on. Okay. Um, the we know good COP efficiency good is good, but uh, it turns out uh, point three. Look, look at the point three, the temperature ratio point three. So is this is point three. COP curve. And then point three, the curve of cooling maximum. This is the curve. So when we have a good COP, good COP, COP is good. But the cooling is no good. So you have to think about it. Always uh, COP good, cooling is uh, no good. Okay, cooling is good, 0.7 maximum. Then the COP is no good. This is COP. Do you see that? So, um, the, this is a characteristic is a real nice we can see characteristic of a cooling COP uh, something like that and if you're interested in voltage yes we can do it and voltage also current voltage you can look at it temperature So um, this is the characteristic of a refrigerator. This is a, a refrigerator. And uh, look at the heat pump. The heat pump is uh, um, heating. So actually the one device, we can have a cooling in summer and heating in winter without uh, changing hardware, just the switching polarity, switching polarity, hardware is the same. So what happened now? The maximum cooling, 0.3, about 0.4, here, 0.4, let's look at it. 0.4 cooling and the 0.4 COP. Where is it? Yeah, COP. 0.4 COP. So 0.4 uh, maximum heating. The COP is here. But we have to read the COP 1.5. Hmm, not bad. 1.5 COP. COP heat pump is 1.5, which means power and the heating. That's yes, interesting. 100 watt, and then 150 watt we can get it. The electric coil, 100 watt, heating is 100 watt, no more than that, first law. So this is very interesting. Uh, if we go to a COP, 0.4 is 2. Okay, so um, this is a beneficial. Uh, we can look at, the, although this is ideal, but if we use uh, effective material property, 
then we can come up with the real values. Uh -huh. I mean, is it seven, eight, ten? Uh, let's move on. The practice, there is an example in the book and the homework. So you always look for example problem similar and then you work on the homework problem, okay? So I think uh, since I developed a very good uh, example, you, you will understand once you understand the concept. So um, this is a, what is this? Oh, uh, yeah. Um, I like to show. This is a very similar effective material product. The same, same, same thing happened. Um, let me show you. Uh, yeah, this is a uh, another uh, module. Automatically cooler. Telurex, uh, the headquarter is in Traverse City, Michigan. This is a real measurement. It looks like similar voltage and uh, maximum. It looks like similar and look, look at that, similar. Um, but the uh, the they used if you look at the they used the th hot not the cold th do you see that constant they use the constant th or all the industrial people not the tc is variable and the, this is a delta t max Delta T max, voltage max, so makes sense, okay? Um, better than the generator, so we can get the numbers. Um, and then we you can compute every material property. Uh, once you have that, you can do anything. You can do anything. You can you can generate, no problem. So, um, so here uh, now, um, I once I have a maximum values, I calculated the effective material property, and even I calculated the GT. It turns out 0.744. If imagine if you use intrinsic property from NIST, it's going to be somewhat higher than this, higher than this value. But anyhow, this is calculated from the module. Okay. Um, and comparison, look at that. With the, this is ideal equation. This is a measurement. Uh, this is voltage a little low, but uh, general curves in good agreement, I found it. Okay, now, 
I'm going to take a break. About 10 minutes, I will come back. Okay? Thank you. Then I will talk about the afternoon design. <clears throat>
Hi, <clears throat> I come back. Um, I don't know how much you understand. Uh, do you follow me? Say yes. Yes. <laughs> Good. One more. Yeah, it's not easy, huh? Uh, I understand. Uh, very short time, too many information. Uh, I think uh, something I like you understand. This is my last, my life, last summer lecture. lecture. Uh, I'm not going to teach anymore after May. Um, and uh, uh, especially uh, now, next uh, hour, the most important uh, findings I will discuss. I don't think you understand sometimes, but uh, I have to, okay? So that in future, somebody. I believe this lecture is a recording and we are talking about the uh, university. The school is talking about uh, offering a free online lecture. Okay, so maybe sometime uh, this lecture will be posted free. Anybody can look at it. By the way, um, so I have to tell you uh, Optimum Design. And uh, what happened is uh, easy. So we understand uh, T H T C, but now rather than T H, I like to use T one, T two. It's okay. T one is high, T two is low, cold. Otherwise, the same current uh, N type, P type, same Q one and Q two. <clears throat> Sorry. But uh, so far, we assume uh, T1 is constant and T2 is constant and discussed. Once it's constant, we can discuss. But reality, no. No, I couldn't find any system device constant. So one of the very reasonable is there is a, some heat sink um, and uh, uh, high side, heat sink, uh, low temperature side, and then fluid temperature one, and then fluid temperature one, T infinity one, and the Q one, I can say that. And then fluid two, a fluid temperature two, Q2. The fluid temperature could be the constant, reasonably. Some a hot gas is flowing, so it could be constant. And then low fluid flowing, yes, constant. This is reasonable. So T1, T2 is not known, but we know T infinity one, T infinity two is constant. Otherwise the same. But there is some uh, uh, heat sink is a convection coefficient and uh, fin efficiency. Eta is not the thermoelectric efficiency, fin efficiency. A is a total heat transfer area. Again here, eta H2. So, 
the heat transfer here, uh, Q1 must be at, uh, according to H1, A1, since the direction high, suppose this is high, T, E, Z, and T1. So this is the uh, heat sink. Here, Q2 is at a uh, uh, heat sink efficiency, H2, A2. Now, T2 minus T infinity 2. And then we have here thermoelectric. Okay. Again, uh, we might have Q, Q, H, and Q2. So that's the, um, actually, uh, you know, look at that. And then this is a small electric. And then I, again, gotta be this, if T1, T2 is known, we don't know, but known, then I can express. So five equation, that's the governing equation. And uh, so I was looking at uh, what is the optimal, okay, dimensionless again, uh, always. So I dimensionalized uh, NK, uh, say uh, dimensionless K is N A K L over eta H A. The, when I uh, dimensionalize, the denominator is supposed to not vary, so constant or known value, so, so that the uh, nk represent the denominator. That that makes sense. If if changing denominator, then it's complicated. Nk is again at h one ratio convection ratio at the H2, and R is uh, uh, typically RL of R. T1 also non-dimensional, T1 over T infinity 2, dimensional T2. T infinity also dimensional, T infinity 1, T infinity 2. Everything dimensionally is, well then Q1 also, it should be something like that, known. T2 side is known. Okay, so um, Q2 is that, the work is that, everything uh, consistently defined dimensionless power, heat, and then we come up with two equations rather than five, and then I can write it function of uh, temperature, is function of NK, NH, R and T infinity and GT. So when I look at it, uh, T infinity is input usually, right? High and low input. And then GT is a property, nothing we can optimize. So the three things, uh, I can look at it, but NH, what is NH? Um, N of H is a ratio eta to H2, A2, eta 1, H1, A1. So I had some study, it turns out this is not really matter. Uh, one is a good uh, number, it can be a, a different number, but um, this is very representative and uh, not really optimum things. So once I NH is one, the only, only T1 is matter of N, K, N, R of R, because others are assuming not really 
optimized. This is the I'm looking at. Interesting is uh, it's just an arbitrary device. No, no information, no, no flow, no nothing. But still, I can work on that. This is amazing. This is amazing. Um, I did it. Once I have a T1, T2, I can calculate the T1. Everything I can calculate. Everything I can calculate. Once I have a T1, T2, even current voltage I can calculate. So I try to plot it. I think, uh, uh, listen carefully, the people are struggling on optimizing some electric device. That's what I have seen. So this paper, I think uh, uh, even journal, only a science direct journal about 100 site right now, which means 150 journal cited this paper. Well, uh, not bad, good actually. So people are looking at Just a journal, science journal, 150. Well, in the world, it could be 500, I don't know, site, uh, including others. I don't know. So all I know is uh, 150. So when I look at the power, and I plot it uh, in terms of uh, power, dimensionless, dimensionless efficiency in terms of uh, ratio, R R is R L of R. Ooh, this is good. Well, actually, um, two things I have to optimize. Two things. So uh, I have to look at the boss um, simultaneously. Yeah. This is a uh, N K. So previous was R over R and K. Hmm. There is no optimum efficiency, but definitely of is a power optimum. So okay, let's look at the power. Let's look at the power. I can get because efficiency I cannot. There is no optimum. So point three. So using two information, I have optimum. Wow. What is NK? NK is, uh, what was it? N K A over L, I think, at two is two. <laughs> Let me check. Yeah, correct. Correct. So, the interesting is, uh, this is optimum. How, how come, uh, you know, there's no any specific information, but still optimum, efficiency optimum, power optimum, current optimum. This is optimum, turns out. This is power of, of a theoretical analytical analysis power. So what is the meaning is, N is a number of a uh, thermocouple. K is a thermal conductivity. A is a element, element, area, and the L, the ratio, A over L and N. So I thought more couple would be better actually is not there is an optimum number if if this is a constant then there is a 
optimum number of n. It depends on the uh, everything, but uh, so if we have a good, we can deduce, or if we have a L and relationship a n, no matter what, 0.3 is optimal. This is amazing. Okay, so what is uh, interesting is uh, the L, the L, if L is uh, reduced, then it's gonna increase and then decrease, we can decrease. If interesting indication is if reduced L, if reduced L, we can reduce the number of thermocouple. That's a great news because uh, the thermoelectric material is expensive. This must telluride, the pound, the expensive. So we can reduce even better, smaller, and it's optimum. This is amazing. Okay, that indicate the amazing. You should, um, so um, let me uh, move on. Um, this is, a, I found, and uh, this is optimal. T infinity. Once I have T infinity, whatever two, whatever three, then there is a NK is about NK is about the point uh, four. Efficiency, efficiency is about uh, point uh, seven, the power and the ratio is about 1.5. Interesting is, this is uh, uh, actually maximum power, not the efficiency optima, because it, I could not get the efficiency maximum. I, I just uh, uh, maximum power. The RL of R for ideal, what was the number for maximum power? Anyone remember? One. One. It was one. For ideal, T C T H is constant. But actually, it's not. It's one point five. It depends on the infinity ratio. And then temperature, even we can calculate. So um, what happened? What happened is uh, um, the when we change N K, the temperature is a change. T one, T two is changing. Look at that big change, not constant. That's why um, these things are changing. This is again, if the ratio changing, the temperature is changing, not the constant. Okay. So, so um, um, I, I just uh, posted this, uh, new actually, I, I didn't put it in the book, but uh, this, this is a, uh, um, G T one, okay, yeah, for G T one. Anyhow, um, so assuming G T one, then this is the optima. Whatever optima. Uh, so a given problem, I gave you one of homework. You just to calculate the T infinity. What is the T infinity? Okay, T 
uh, infinity is t infinity 1 over t infinity 2. This is input information. Then, then you have everything. Then you have everything. You just solve it. Just plug in and, and, and solve it. Temperature, current, everything. That's, that's the homework. If you understand, say yes. Or raise a question. Yeah, I think that yeah, makes sense. Yeah, yeah. It's just the optimum is already Dr. Lee calculated. You just use it. You believe and use it. Actually, the table uh, appendix uh, B uh, two, or you can use this chart, new chart. I, I just posted same chart or, or table B two appendix. Um, this is my oh my. <sighs> This is my uh, discovery, okay? Let me move on. I think this is uh, so important, uh, how to uh, optimize or even how to fabricate the module. When I look at the module, they have no idea. They just, uh, uh, they don't know how to optimize it. But now using the, my theory, Using my theory, using my theory, you can you can optimize it. You can optimize it. This is the one and K. You, you, you can combination of N A L and uh, optimize it. Otherwise, other than point three, it is not optimum. <laughs> Amazing, okay. Uh, not, I, Um, now, I'm going to talk about the contact resistance, okay? So what I modeled, um, now there is a contact, electrical and the thermal contact resistance. Electrical is a I, I just put the electrical contact. Thermal is uh, actually, it turns out um, the, uh, this, this is a conductor. This is a conductor. This is a ceramic. So ceramic is a mostly a thermal conduction effect. So K of C. So rho is a electrical contact. So I include it, I'm not gonna go detail, but I model, I model the uh, similar, but including electrical, electrical, and the uh, thermal contact. I include it, electrical and thermal. So that I was able to uh, discuss effect of, uh, uh, ceramic material and electrical and uh, uh, I compare I compare uh, similar uh, you know the uh, this is the uh, current similar but including uh, contact and uh, and uh, I have some measurement um, and uh, I use the micro um, module. 
look at that. So small, even. So small, look at that. So small module and uh, some agreement with measurement uh, I compare. And uh, look at that. Some property uh, performance is agreement with the, uh, the model and the measurement, the marks on measurement. So I usually, before I discuss, I confirm my model is okay. This is a, a model, okay. After comparison, I have confidence. Now I discuss. I discuss uh, either micro or macro, big one and small one. Um, so this is important, students. Um, you should understand. Um, people don't understand this. They have no idea. Okay, this one. This is micro. Look at that. The cross-sectional area point one. This is about uh, very small. Th this is uh, uh, the element, but uh, this is uh, just a typical module, macro. This is macro, this is micro, small. One tenth, about the one tenth size of, of this. Uh, 36 uh, couples and uh, R is um, R indicate um, uh, electric contact and uh, no no S electrical R is uh, thermal I think maybe opposite but it doesn't matter Thermal contact. So zero means uh, no contact, no electric. So it's uh, ideal. This uh, black is ideal because uh, I put the zero. Do you understand? So I compare with the uh, contact, some contact real value, uh, and then ideal. Ideal is a black, no contact. And then the first one. The second one, the red one is a. Uh, the red one is a. Uh, uh, most of uh, uh, aluminum oxide. The red one, aluminum. Most of uh, ceramic material, aluminum oxide. The blue one is uh, aluminum nitride. Is expensive, expensive. But better. Uh, performance because of uh, uh, summer conductivity. Anyhow, in the macro, uh, typical, typical size, the length, optical length, optimal length is about 1.2, 1.2. So I think that the most of uh, product, they show 1.2 millimeter. So good, they 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 have a good. Uh, uh, I agree, because uh, look at that. But interesting is uh, the ideal is very good, isn't it? <laughs> no matter what the contact, uh, uh, ideal is good. Very good. Now micro. Micro is a. Uh, the typical ceramic material, aluminum nitride, is no good unless we have aluminum nitride. It's expensive ceramic material in the very close. The more interesting, I think that's the really, uh, I think is a finding, the power to power to. This is uh, amazing. No matter what size, one tenth cooling, it's the same, believe it or not. So small, large, 10 times, same, same cooling, two watt, two watt.
this one was 1.2 and this one was a 0.3 about millimeter very small so which means uh, cooling density is a huge once we have current the cooling density is going to be very huge huge this is real i i told you i'm not talking about ideal real real Um, so, if anything, we need a very intensive cooling, this might be candidate. I never ever seen this kind of uh, high density cooling, no. Maybe nuclear fusion, maybe we look at this, nobody, they don't know. This is, I just uh, published it. Um, do you understand? Or any question? One minute? This is so important. Anyone? Any question? Before I move on? What do you think? Uh, somewhat do you understand? If you understand, say yes. Anyone? No one. <laughs> Okay, that's okay. <laughs> Not only you, but the world is is problem now. I'm telling you. Uh, but you can read it, my book, anytime. Again, I, I like to move on. Okay, don't worry. And no exam. No, no. I'm not gonna discuss this in exam. May, maybe. Uh, I'm not saying exam, but. Uh, Now is generator generator uh, <clears throat> another finding is uh, uh, now is a generator the previous was a cooler now is a TZ and uh, the leg lengths. Uh, because uh, I told you there was an indication of optimum N K A O L eta 2 H2 A2. So if the relationship N and A, if you reduce, it's going to be optimum, is a N can be reduced. That, that's what happened. Actually, okay, now here again, uh, leg length is 5.5. .5. If you reduce it, um, again, the, the idea, black is an idea, no contact. And then the red one is uh, not aluminum nitride, expensive one. And blue one is uh, aluminum oxide. Alumina, we call alumina oxide. This is the most, uh, mostly, this is the most uh, of a commercial product. So it's very low, very low. Actually, even, I think uh, I, I told you, this is about 1.2, something like that, millimeter. Very, very low power. I, I don't know why. They have to reduce it. And even, even here is a four, if you reduce, it can go up to 20. Do you see that? Four to 20. And this is the example. Um, do, do, do you understand this? Actually, do you understand this? Anyone? Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah. I think this is due to difficulty in manufacturing. This hasn't been implemented earlier, or no, no. No matter with the manufacturing, the theory is is a lack of theory. I'm telling you. Okay, manufacturing is always possible. 
Now is a nanotechnology, no problem with the manufacturing. Problem is a theory. Okay, that's the problem. Um, I don't think they know this. No, I don't think so. If they know, they, they, they are here. They are, they are here around. This is the area they, they are manufacturing. One point. Um, because this is hard to believe. Smaller increase is hard to believe. I will tell you what happened. Um, there is a uh, n type, whatever, p3 type, electron is moving. The huge uh, joule heating. So more lengths, more joule heating. More lengths, more, more, more conduction. Uh, actually, the conduction is not more, but the joule heating is, is a major problem. Joule heating. It's a lot of heat generated. Okay. So reduce, it turns out, it can reduce, it can improve, it turns out, improve, improve. And then a larger area, improve. So it, it something like a very thin, very thin element is ideal according to this. Number of reduce, but the A is uh, large, L is reduced, something like that. Now, um, the real example, I think a, a, a real example, uh, I'm going to show you the 10 years is a number of research group. Um, including GM and the BMW, all kind of research. One of them I'd like to show you. A of years ago, they stopped. And something like uh, they failed. So I'm going to show you. Uh, I just example number of uh, Nissan uh, and GM. Uh, I'm going to talk about this. Actually, they have a measurement. Um, so they have research, um, and uh, this is the uh, the GM they fabricated uh, thermal electric module. They fabricated and modeled uh, PhD uh, Purdue and the GM and uh, I think a number of schools they fabricated and tested um, national instrument tested and the modeled look like a good even the similar model I have so everything looks good Everything looks good. They model, measure, agreement. Um, th this is what, what the, their uh, module, the ceramic they use, the uh, some ceramic material they used, um, aluminum oxide they used. Obviously, they don't know what to do, and the electrical, and the number of uh, thermocouple, and uh, the leg length, believe or not, they used the four millimeter leg length. So, and, and they showed, not me, they showed this measurement, and the uh, analytic, their analytic is a good agreement, looks good, everything. 
looks good. Temperature difference, they have a measurement, the power output, 8 watt, uh, with about the 500, looks good. And voltage measurement, there will be no problem so far. And uh, I just analyzed my analysis. So four millimeter, I just calculated again ideal uh, aluminum nitride. They used the, they used the blue, okay, aluminum nitride. They they, they used. So four millimeter, I got the same eight watt. I have no question. I got the same result of their result. Once they use four millimeter, it gotta be eight watt. But according to my analysis, if they reduce up to about here, how many? 100 watt possible. Possibly, or well, 80, I don't know. But 8 watt is too, something, I don't know why. Because they have no idea optimal design and they think they have a, a good, Actually, it's not. They don't know about NK number. NK number, they have no idea. So there are a couple of things. NK, no optimum. Leg length, no optimum. So ugly, so ugly. It can go up to uh, 8 to 100, 10 times. So they failed, uh, obviously. No question about it. And, and they they have numerical simulation. Numer numerical is numerical, you know. Once a module is no good, numerical is numerical. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I don't want to discuss more than that. That, that. That's the end of my lecture of, of today. Any question? Um, I'm awesome, nothing. So um, this this is weird, but uh, um, you know the the theory is just so important, optimal design and the calculation concept. Okay, then we look for measurement. Measurement is not enough. They did it, measured, and they fabricate design. That's not enough because they have no idea. I'm sorry, GM had no idea. People, I think more than 100 people get together PhD and do it. I think uh, the uh, more than $20,000 government, they funded for this project. I know that 10 years ago. Uh, but uh, unfortunately, this is no good. Totally no good. Most no good is a four millimeter of element length. Terrible. It, it could be 0 0.2, 0 0.3. Uh, uh, so far is is a kind of design issues. But uh, next hour I'm going to move on chapter six. Okay, next hour. Um, uh, today homework. I'm going to assign the homework, 5, 16, 5, 18, 5, 18, 5, 26. I'm going to post uh, numbers only. So three uh, homework problem due next hour. Any question? Okay, see you next hour. Bye-bye. Yeah, thank you, sir. Bye. Mm -hmm.